everybody, if you happen to have a student loan and you haven't paid it off, did you know what, in 10 years, what, they make it go away if you haven't paid it off? Wow, what's the incentive to pay it off? <laughs> Good question. Well, the President's announcements today may change the way the entire loan, well actually, they will change the way the entire loan business is going. Um, well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines. Of the Something like that. Well, good question. We still don't believe what he said. We don't believe what he said. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because we're talking about the student loan program. Hey, do you still have your student loans? I, I paid off my student loan 50 years ago. Yeah, but see, now they have no incentive. Oh, wait a minute. If you can't get a student loan, well, now you know <laughs> why. <laughs> anyway, it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, well, yeah. The President of the United States just came out with the plan to kill the Republicans that basically he's made it so they have $1.5 trillion of student debts. The president is going to wipe it all off the books in 10 years. And the way he's going to do it is they're going to take 10% of each of the students' net income to help pay the loan off. And if they don't have net income, well, in 10 years, they can just wipe it off the books anyway. Since most students don't have a net income for years after they get out of college, they're not going to be paying anything. They're not paying anything in college. They're not going to pay anything until they get out of college. And then, they, since they have, they know that it will be totally wiped off the books in 10 years, uh, that you have no incentive to pay it. You just let it set, and then they let the people you know, go after you. Because, they, put it this way, if the Internal Revenue Service is not going to get 10,000 more people to go after you for Obamacare, do you think Congress is going to give 10,000 more people on top of that to go after student loans? Oh, God. And GM recall probe to be made public. Three key questions. Well, yeah, the, the problem is that GA, General, uh, General Motors, has basically thrown a bunch of lower-level people to the wolves. And, it's, and when the people upstairs that were been promoted upstairs all were in the loop when it was being done. And first of all, some of the people that they have gotten rid of pointed out there was a problem. They, they've got it written down. The thing is, it's not up to standards. The people that created the thing, um, you know, for General Motors, they said it was not it was, in, it was not up to standards in General Motors. It's up to standards in other companies' cars, but it was not General Motors standards. And General Motors still took the parts and put them in cars. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh. But don't worry, the President of the United States arranged a bankruptcy for them. He forced a bankruptcy through without having proper legal hearings. And that uh, you either settle with General Motors for what you get, what they're going to offer you, or you get nothing. Because the bankruptcy courts are, will protect them from having to pay you any of the things. So. In Germany launches Angela Merkel bugging investigation. Yep, they're after what? Obama. They're, they're, the whole world is after him and the NSA. Here, here's the way it works. Everybody bugs everybody else. But like yeah. I keep telling people, my favorite line from a movie that I actually participated in, I played a German, was from The, the Dirty Dozen when Lee Marvin uh, is talking to Charles Bronson. Charles Bronson said the guy deserved it. And Lee Marvin says, yes, but you let somebody see you doing it. So that's what happened with the NSA. As long as nobody knew, oh, here's what it is. Um, uh, another thing, I was on an episode of the of Hawaii Five O when um, when um, an actor tells Jack Lord, he said that um, I created a perfect crime and I still got caught. And and, and, and Jack Lord said, playing with Gary, he said, if it had been perfect, I'd have never known it was done. Okay. That's the thing. If it it's if it's perfect. done, it no one longer as nobody knows you've done it. It's not a crime. And EPA plan credit card use and cutting carbon emissions could fail if the U.S. endeavors alone. Yeah, the, um, the EPA is going to destroy the economy. Gonna, their carbon stuff can't be done. It will shut down no less than seven states completely because they can't convert. Well, we're going to give you the time to do it. Well, if you don't have any money, you can't do it. That's what they don't understand. There is no money. The federal government has no money. The states have no money. And you're not, if the Democrats continue to hold office for another four years, which will be all they're going to hold it for. Mm -hmm. And there's no money to do any, uh, you can't do infrastructure work, you can't do power plants. I mean, um, for instance, there's been one new oil refinery built in the last 30 years. One, because you can't get EPA approval to do it. Um, and China rebuffs international courts' request over sea dispute. Yeah, because they're basically, they're, they're claiming... 
um, I think all the way to uh, all the way to Japan and all the way to uh, Vietnam, and all the way to Japan, all the way to Vietnam, and all the way to the South Korea as their territorial waters now. And the stupid war on e cigs. What do you think? The stupid war on e cigs. Oh yeah, which is uh, sometimes the things just. No one knows why they do what they do, but they are doing it. It's why they call it stupid, because they can't explain the reason for it. <laughs> There's no explanation. They're just, just, just at war. It's like what? So they're going to like sell more cigarettes? No. Having a war on e-cigs doesn't... I know. Is that what it is? Yeah. So it's, they can sell more cigarettes? It, it's it's e-cigarettes. They, they feel basically, like it's going into their market. Okay. They can't understand that the majority of the e-cigarettes being sold do not have smoke in them. They're basically got, we got, what do we got, 20 bottles of fruit juice? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we got. No nicotine. Well, it's putting well, harmful vapors into the air. Um, no. And then the doctors are all on the side of the e-cigarettes. They said, if you're smoking an apple, it's not the, it's, it's more beneficial than smoking a cigarette. So what we're going to do is we're going to ban ap smoking apples and keep marijuana. They're basically, if you have marijuana in your e-cigarette, it's legal. Yeah. Is yeah. that something? And watch out Apple Amazon to debut a smartphone. Yeah. And, uh, it's, uh, and they're all trying to debut stuff. They're, they're going to have no more luck than Google did with this Google phone. We saw the Google phone. It did everything that the Android today is supposed to do. What the Google we were waiting for the Google phone. It came out three years later, yeah. four years but later. Now it's just called the Android because Google has the operating system for the Android. And Google, unlike Apple, made it an open source, which means anybody can develop. Which is why the Android is overtaking the Apple phone, the uh, iPhone, is because anybody can design something for the Android, and everybody can have an Android operating system. And enrollment numbers for Medicaid after Obamacare went live were not clear. Yeah, they're, uh, he, they think he fudged by two million people. They think that these people were already on it. And just what happens is there's a lot of things like Obamacare. This one, this is one you're going to love, folks, that the Obamacare gives you the reason to now quit your job. You know, if your employer is going to cut you off of Obamacare because you can't afford to pay it, it now gives you the opportunity to go to work for somebody else that has Obamacare that will pay you more money than you were being paid. We're going to explain something. Union jobs are rooted in a certain figure. You don't get more money from leaving one union job to go to another union job. And the unions are bitching up a storm about benefits being cut. They no longer will have the same benefits they did before. So. And there are a lot more. It, it just doesn't work that way. But the newspaper thought it was good this morning to point out how, you know, well, this company is, is taking people off of Obamacare. And this woman, she actually got off of her off of her job and went to another union job and is making more money at the same job. No. Hmm. They all get the same salary. That's what unions do. And Chinese tycoon considers a bid for the New York Times. Yeah. Uh, they'll probably sell it to him. They were going to sell it. They sold the Boston, uh, the Bo Boston Beacon, I think, whatever it is, to a, to a, to a uh, Latino. Oh, did they? And they'll probably sell the Times to a, to a Chinese company, probably like Abercrombie will end up with it. Oh yeah, they've been buying up everything. Yeah, and they don't. It's government money. Uh, this is the biggest, folks. They're, they're telling people that work for Abercrombie to be careful with their money because there's going to be forty billion dollars of stock sales. I don't think the average person has a single share in a government-owned business. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. No. And women make 2013 gains, but glass ceiling is still there. Uh, okay, here's, an, uh, here's a fact for you. Women live longer than men considerably. Women inherit everything. The majority of board members on businesses are women. The majority of stockholders in the nation are women. The majority of the heads of companies are women. And what happens is, like my mother said, my mother moved up by walking over all the women in front of her. And you know how my mother kept her position for 35 years? Glass ceiling. Yeah. She didn't allow people to come up the food chain. Mm -hmm. so. And a monkey bubble is until the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. For some reason, a lot of people seem to think you can always pass the cost of doing business on to others, but it will never affect them.